Hello again, my name is Rodney Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I'll be looking at the Gale PC3500 433 MHz DDR Platinum Series memory. The packaging on this memory is a little different. You can see it's a green plastic box essentially and the top actually slides off like so, revealing the memory inside. Before I get into all the technical jargon, let me go through some terminology. First, DDR. What does it stand for? Well, it stands for double data rate, and that means it doubles the bandwidth of the memory by transferring data twice as fast on both the rising and the falling of the clock cycle. Also, something else that I will be referring to is CAS. That stands for Column Access Select, and essentially means the number of cycles for the memory to get information and then process that information. Now a higher DDR megahertz is much better and a lower CAS is much better. Basically a lower CAS means the memory is going to perform better but at a higher megahertz you might not be able to select a lower CAS. Now the recommendations that they use for CES is at DDR333, CES of 2, at DDR400, a CES of 2 again, and at the higher megahertz speed, a DDR433, of which this memory is rated at, they recommend a CES of 2.5. This memory is 4.5 nanosecond memory. It also comes with a process known as a six layer ultra low noise shielded printed circuit board. Now that process essentially will give you stability at very high megahertz speeds. This memory also has a lifetime warranty and it comes in up to 512 megabyte modules. Now something else you will notice when looking at this memory is this silver thing here on top of the memory. What is that? Well, that's a heat spacer. And what that does, of course, is dissipate and take the heat away from the memory when it gets hot. And believe me, at 433 megahertz, this memory does get very warm. But this tin-coated platinum copper heat spacer does help. Within the soft menu 3 setup of the ABIT IT7 Max 2 motherboard, I will be using a front side buff setting of 170 MHz. I'm using as well the Intel Pentium 4 2.26 CPU. Also, something else important to note here is the DRAM ratio, which is right here. I have that at 3 to 4, which means 1.33 times 170 will give me a DDR MHz of 454. At a DDR speed of 454 megahertz, these are the following memory settings I will be using. A CAS of 2.5, 7, 3, and 3. And the Sci Software Sandra memory result is 3,437. This memory is stable, it performs extremely well, has a lifetime warranty, and is well priced. There's no question about it, this product is kick-ass. Again, my name is Rodney Reynolds, and this has been another video review. Be sure to check back very soon, I will have a brand new one for you then. Also, be sure to pop into my website at www.3dgameman.com, and while you're there, you can go into the forums. If you haven't already registered, registration is completely free. Until the next time, take care.